What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl for the Nintendo Switch. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing one of the most broken Pokemon in this game, which is Reloom. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smash that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, you guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you for all the support that has been going out on this playthrough and all the BDSP content. It really does go a long way. So I thank you guys yet again. But like I said, today we are rocking out with Breloom and this Pokemon is honestly busted in VGC. It is so good, super quick, hits like a truck and it learns Spore. Spore is absolutely amazing because you can put Pokemon to sleep left and right and it is a 100% accuracy sleep, which is amazing. Cannot wait to show off this Pokemon and get after it with him. But before we actually get into the full team preview, I just want to go over some uh, union room codes for you guys to use to do competitive battles for singles and doubles. People have been using the that's a plus one code, which is AAA89, AAA89, which is three eights and a nine. I might have said four eights, but it's AAA89, AAA89, three eights and a nine twice. And then the other code for more so double battles is Moxie Boosted's code, which is 2021, 2022. That one's more easier to say, but those are two codes for you guys to actually rock out in some single battles and some double battles for VGC gameplay. But when you guys go into it, make sure you guys are using the VGC rule set. I know that for the double one, it is a uh, four, four v four, and use like different items. But the single one, I do not really know. You guys are gonna have to figure that one out yourself. But just want to give you those guys those codes and spread that around the Pokemon community. But let's get started with this team preview right here. We have Reloom over here, who is absolutely amazing. It has the Jolly Nature alongside with that toxic orb with poison heal as its ability so every time it is poison instead of losing hp it will actually gain hp this thing's evs has attack and speed so we can outspeed and hit hard and then the move set of spore drain punch seed bomb and substitute to potentially set up and just sweep matches next pokemon is going to be garchomp and we used the basically the exact same garchomp build in our last video it has dragon claw eq sword stance and protect to set up and kind of get after it and then we also have the attack and speed evs but this time we are rocking out with the rough skin ability instead of sand veil because we do not have a sandstorm pokemon on our team final thing i want to talk about is his ability it's jolly gives it that speed boost with that special attack drop because we're not using special attack Next Pokemon, we got the one and only Milotic, and Milotic is really, really good in this format considering Intimidate is a huge factor in it. So using a Pokemon like competitive Milotic over here can really rock out in the battle and kind of control all the Intimidates on the field. This thing has that calm nature for that nice, make it a little bit more bulky, and then the nice EVs over here with the HP buff. We got a little bit in special defense, a little bit in defense, and a little bit in speed, just a tad bit in speed. And I believe we have a little bit in special attack as well. He's kind of just like a mixture of everything. But like I said, this Pokemon is bulky and can really control a lot of battles with it, just its competitive ability. Move set over here is going to be Scald, recover to recover up that HP, Hypnosis to put Pokemon to sleep, and Coil. So this team is basically Sleep City. It has Hypnosis and Sprawl on it. We're going to be putting Pokemon to sleep left and right. Next Pokemon on the team is going to be Tokus, yet another Pokemon that I showcased in the last video, but a little bit of a different build here. Same moveset, follow me, Air Slash, Protect, and Dazzle Gleam work so well in this format. The EVs are a little bit different. We have some in special attack, mostly in special attack, I should say. Special attack and speed is really our bulk of EVs. We got a little bit in HP, a little bit in special defense, and a decent amount in defense. So it's kind of an all around Pokemon, and it works really, really well in this format. Ability is going to be Timid, just to give it that speed boost and make sure it can outspeed most Pokemon. Next Pokemon is going to be Heatran, and this Pokemon is a unit in this format. Hits like a truck, counters up Togekiss, who is so prevalent in the format as well. So I think this Pokemon is going to be very, very strong. We gave this thing the modest nature, so it actually gets that special attack boost. And then the EVs is going to be straight in a special attack, boost that thing all the way up, mostly in HP and just a tad bit in speed, so it can outspeed certain Pokemon. Move set is going to be Flash Cannon for Stab, Heat Wave for Stab, and it can hit both sides and potentially hit Burns for us, Taunt, and then Protect for its final move. Final Pokemon on the squad, we need somebody to control some speed, we need some fake outs, we went with Weavile. I think Weavile is a great Pokemon in this format. It learns fake out, it learns icy wind, so we get speed control and flinch opportunity turn one when we hop into the battle. Then we also have Ice Punch for big damage to control those, uh, Dragon types, and then we got Throat Chop for our other stab move. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code, well not rental code, you guys cannot try it out. You guys are going to have to build it yourself. I was thinking Sword and Shield, always used to the rental codes, but I will be leaving a Poke Paste down in the description below if you guys want to check it out. But let's hop into some ranked double battles, VGC style in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. 
So guys, we were able to hop into our first battle using the code 2021 and 2022. And it was awesome because once I put in the code, I instantly found a doubles battle. Like instantly somebody was waiting there for me. It is awesome. Cannot wait for this code to get around more. So people are just constantly getting battles in this game. But like I said, we're hopping into our first battle. We're going to lock in our Breloom team and look for a win here in battle number one. This guy has a pretty cool team over here. Also has Breloom. Like I said, Breloom is very, very strong in this format. Such a good Pokemon. He also has the Gyarados, which has Intimidate. He has the Cresselia, he has a Pachirisu, the Heatran, Snorlax, and then Breloom. I think going in with my Breloom could be very beneficial. Alongside with my Weavile here, I think this is just really, really good. So I'm just going to lead them to. Plus, I really want to show off Breloom and that thing to its fullest potential. Next Pokemon I want to bring, I could actually bring a Heatran. Heatran does have Taunt on it, and I think I should have changed that out for Weavile. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys think I should do that. Because I gave this thing a uh, Throat Chop, and I think I should have gave it Taunt. I think I should have gave it to him, but uh, we definitely want to bring Togekiss here, and then I think final Pokemon is going to be Garchomp. He has one Intimidate Pokemon, but I really don't see him bringing that, considering we have Milotic, and Milotic poses such a huge threat. So I think we are going to go in with these four, but guys, if you guys want to see any certain Pokemon that you guys prefer, or just want to see me showcase, let me know in the comment section down below, because I'm planning on doing an Infernape team next, so if you guys have any ideas, or any preferred Pokemon, let me know in the comment section down below, I would love to get you guys ideas, and love to showcase Pokemon that you guys want to see on the rank double ladder for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pearl. But uh, let's see, let's see who this guy leads. Let's see who this guy leads, I wouldn't be surprised to see Cresselia, but I maybe should have led my Heatran. He does go Cresselia. Okay, so Cresselia and Pachirisu. That's totally fine. That's fine by me. I could actually fake out the Pachirisu. And just spore the Cresselia, put that thing to sleep, and then potentially set up my subs and all that good stuff. So that's honestly looking like a good first turn for me. So I think I am just going to rock out with that. Go spore, and then into a nice little fake out onto the Pachirisu slot. I kind of like that. But I don't think Chris Cresselia really runs Protect a lot. He's going to withdraw the Cresselia. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. Who is he going to go into? He's going to go in the Breloom, and that was actually very, very smart. Cannot put that thing to sleep because this grass move. Fake out's going to pop on the Pachirisu. Just give it a little bit of flinchies, and Sport is going to have no effect. Imagine if we would have set up a sub there. That would have been lovely. Toxic Orb is going to pop. This thing has Poison Heal. We're going to start setting up with him. Okay, so from here, I could just go into a nice, lovely Ice Punch. I might do it, and I think I'm just going to set up a sub. I think sub is going to be the play, and I could Icy Wind Speed Control. We think his Breloom is faster than mine. It should be a speed tie if anything else. So I think I'm just going to Ice Punch on that thing. See if we can get some damage off. Because Weavile should be fastest on the field. Breloom protects. That's totally fine. We're setting up a sub here. And what is Pachirisu going to do? Ice Punch is going to get blocked. Pachirisu is going to go for a what? Breloom actually outspeeds Pachirisu. That's huge. So we have our Toxic Heal out. We have our sub out. Hopefully Pachirisu cannot take that thing out in one shot. And Pachirisu is going to go for a nuzzle over onto Weavile. Which is totally fine. Which is totally fine. I could swap him, thinking he's going to go for a, uh, what's it called? I could swap my Weavile, thinking he's going to go for, like, a Drain Punch or something. Which is definitely an option. But I could put Pachirisu to sleep, which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to start putting Pokemon to sleep. Might drop an Icy Wind, start slowing down Pokemon. Or I kind of just want to go for an Ice Punch. But, hmm. I could swap. I could swap into Togekiss. Because Togekiss could be very, very good. Could be very, very good. Which I think I'm going to do. I'm going to swap into Togekiss. And I think we just saved that Weavile for the back end. Because I do think like a Drain Punch is coming in onto my Weavile. So with that going on, I think he might try to take off my sub. We are going to put Pachirisu to sleep. Is he going to protect Pachirisu? He does, yo. What a smart play. That's playing really, really good. But we do get a nice little swap here. And he is just going to go for a Mach Punch, which Tokus eats up all day. We eat up all day. The Spore is going to get blocked. I am just going to Spore up on that slot again. I just think it's the play. Poison Heal is just going to heal up. We have our sub set up. And look at that. We are back at full health. With a sub up, we are rolling strong with this Pokemon. We're just going to drop another Spore into that slot. And I think we just go for an Air Slash. I think we just Air Slash Breloom. He might protect it. If that's the play, that's all good because Pachirisu cannot protect again. So he's either going to go to sleep, swap, or get off an electric move onto my Pokemon. Air Slash is going to fly. This could probably get a KO. It's four times super effective. Breloom has the Sash. Has the Sash, man. God dang it. Has the Sash. And I think he is going to nuzzle up onto my uh, Togekiss. Actually, no, he cannot. Spore's going to come out beforehand. That is a lovely turn, yo. Pachirisu going to sleep. Breloom is rolling out strong. Gotta love this Pokemon. Gotta love this Pokemon. I'm telling you, he is absolutely broken in this format. This thing is going to support my Togekiss, which is totally fine. Which is totally fine. So we kind of just need a thing to wake up. I think he might protect the Breloom. That could definitely be a play. And in this case, I kind of just like get after his Pachirisu, start tackling onto that thing. We go Drain Punch, but I think Seed Bomb might be our play trying to get off as much damage and then we just try to just keep dazzling gleam here i think dazzling gleam is just, just gonna be a play trying to get rid of this reloom it is on one hp 
But I'm surprised he's actually rocking with that. That's not going to take off my uh, sub, is it? It does. Wow. That's actually pretty nuts. That's actually pretty crazy. Toe Kiss is slump. Patrick should be slump. And a C Bomb should be able to fly out here and do a good amount of damage. Breloom hits pretty hard as well. Look at that. Look at Breloom rolling here. So he does have a berry. I think I might set up another sub, which is probably going to be my play. I do outspeed. And we're just going to wait for this. Oh, this thing woke up. That's pretty nuts. And he's going to nuzzle. He cannot paralyze me. I'm already poisoned. I'm already poisoned, so we do like that. We're back up to full health. That was just a waste of turn on his end. So he could spore me again, but I think I just set up another sub. Blaze went slow. We have control. We have control of this battle. Tokus might wake up here, which could be really, really good. I would really like that turn. So let's just sub up. We might go for a mock punch, but then we sub up and then we get the poison heal. Reloom's going to protect. That's fine. That's fine. That gives us another chance to wake up. It gives us another chance to wake up. So we are slumped there. Substitute is going to set up here. I do not think he can knock off my sub here. So I'm really liking where our Breloom's sitting. Breloom is looking lovely here. Patrice is going to go for a Super Fang. Okay, that's probably going to take off our sub. A nice little block there. Took damage and the sub fades. That's all good. That is all good. Poison Heal is going to pop. We are going to get some HP. And I think at this point, we just Seed Bomb. But you know what? I'm just going to... Do we Seed Bomb? Yeah, we're going to Seed Bomb here. And I'm just going to Dazzle Leap because I think Tokus should wake up here. Tokus wakes up. We double hit in the Risu. It should be double kill here, right? Let's see how this one plays out here. He's going to go for the Mach Punch. It actually does a lot of damage to us. Tokus is still asleep, bro. Get out my face. Get out my face. We got a three-turn sleep. I was not ready for that. I was not ready for that. Obviously, I wanted him to wake up there. That would have been a double kill. But Breloom is out here. We are going to get some Poison Heal. And I could swap him here. I could swap Breloom. Reloom will go down to a Mach Punch. We do outspeed, so I might... Mm, no, because Mach Punch goes first. Let's swap in the Chomp. I think we might just let Breloom go down here. I think we just let Breloom go down here. Probably would be our smart play. If we can, we go for a Drain Punch, but I think Breloom just goes down here. I wish we did have Protect, but we are actually just going to go here. We're just going to go here. Into the Dazzling Gleam. Follow me. He's going to come out from Patrick. Yo, that's actually fine by me. That's fine by me. What is Breloom going to go for? Here comes a Mach Punch, yeah. Mach Punch comes out, takes out our Breloom. We wake up here. There's no way. I don't think four turns sleep's a thing. We wake up. Dazzling Gleam comes out here, and that should be a double kill. Should be a nice, lovely double kill here. Beautiful. Awesome. Get him out my face, yo. We should have been rolling the battle super, super strong with our Breloom, but I think our sleeps went a little too long. We got a little unlucky on the sleeps, but yo, we had our Breloom set up to the max. Set up to the max because he should have been in a sub. We should have picked up a double kill when we woke up. And we should have been thriving from there. But uh, we have to pick a Pokemon. I think we just go right into our Weavile here. Weavile gives us fake out control. Let's just kind of roll off from there. And he has two Pokemon left. And we still have the guard jump. So he has Gyarados. I'm cool with the Gyarados. I am cool with the Gyarados. And who is his final Pokemon going to be? Because I'd rather him intimidate my Weavile than my Garchomp. Because you know, Garchomp is that big old physical attacker. And Cresselia is that final Pokemon. Should know that one. He swapped out Cresselia very, very early on. We just had a nice little Breloom battle there. Nice, lovely Breloom battle there. And if he wasn't sashed, man, ooh, we would have been buzzing. Intimidate comes out here. Uh, we can have an easy fake out. And what should, how should I play this one? Do I think he doesn't? I don't think he protects. Uh, I think he protects maybe the Gyarados here. I said we just double down to this Cresselia slot. I'm with it all day. Let's do this. Yep. Protects the Gyarados. Nice little read by me. And we're doubling down into this Cresselia slot. Air Slash coming through here. Yeah, yeet. And we are also throw chopping. This could be big. This could be big. We get a nice crit. We have a chance to flinch. He doesn't flinch. And he is going to calm mind setup. He is going to calm mind setup. So a great turn by us there. That is huge. That is huge. Hit this thing with a big old throw chop. He gets a special defense boost. Good thing we are just physical attacking here. Yeet. Throw chop comes in here. Getting off some big damage. And I can see this thing being leftovers, right? Yeah. So leftovers is going to be popping. Uh, I say we just double down the Cresselia again. Probably our play, right? Probably our play. I could Icy Wind kind of get speed control here. But I think we just double down the Cresselia here. Go here. Go into the Air Slash. Just do that. Just keep doubling down this Cresselia. Try to make this a 1v1 with my Garchomp. But Air Slash comes out here. Puts this thing on one. Hopefully Gyarados doesn't pick up the KO. He does Dragon Dance. He does Dragon Dance here, which I'm cool with. I'm cool with. Because Weavile should be able to take out this Cresselia, right? What's Cresselia going for? An Ice Beam? That's totally fine. Going into my Tokus. Tokus is able to eat. Cresselia is going to go down here to his throw chop. Beautiful. We connect. I was going to say, if we were paralyzed there, I would have been super upset. So now we're sitting in a decent position. I think we try to take a speed control here. Just by dropping Icy Winds and maybe follow me. 
because that could be really good for us. But I think he is just going to take out my uh, my Tokus regardless. So I'm just going to protect my Tokus. See if I can get off a free Icy Wind. See if we can make a nice hard read here. We protect the Togi. See if he wants to go into it for the KO. And let's see if our Icy Wind can prevail. Yep, Waterfall. Get that block, yo. Make it some great calls this game. Make it some great calls. Icy Wind comes out here. We're going to start slowing down this Pokemon. Start slowing down this Pokemon. So that's just a huge turn for us to kind of just solidify this battle right here. Protect. Get off an Icy Wind. Now we can actually do yet another Icy Wind. Which I kind of want to do. Just kind of want to do it. And then just go into an Air Slash if we can. Yeah, we'll go into an Air Slash. Because I know we outspeed him. So we have the Flinch Chance right here. Get off a nice lovely Air Slash. And we still have that Garchomp in the back end. Get a big old crit. He flinches. Yo, that's GG's. That is GG's, yo. Your boy playing out of his mind in the first battle. Let's go, yo. We've been rolling in BDSP. Absolutely dominated. And this was an awesome battle here. It really was a good battle. He quit. He turned off his console. That is awesome. Hopping into battle number two for today's video. We ripped up in that first battle. Breloom was shut off to his fullest potential. Would have probably swept the battle if he did or if our sleep did not last us that long. But it's okay. We're hopping into our second one here. This guy's got a pretty cool team. He's got a Charizard Drought team that also features Garchomp, Cresselia, Torkoal to set the Drought, and Chlorophyll Venusaur. So we definitely got to watch out for that. I think Weavile can be very, very good in this for speed control, but we can get dumped on by a lot of these fire Pokemon. So definitely got to watch out for that. I could go in with a Taunt with Heatran. Could be really solid for me as well. But I'm trying to think of how I should play this. He has no Intimidate, so I don't think Milotic's really going to be the play here. I really do not see that thing being the play. I think Weavile should be led here. Weavile is just so good. Weavile is just so good at controlling the battle. So I am going to lead Weavile. I might go Breloom here as well, but then he does have Heat Wave and all that good stuff, which I really don't like. So I really do see him leading potentially the Charizard. I think we just go Heatran. I think we just rock out with Heatran. We do have Taunt with this Pokemon in case he wants to go into some Sleep Bonds, but I think we should be fine all around. I think we should be fine with a lot of these Pokemon. Hmm. Let's do that. Could bring Milotic just for the water. Once the drought kind of wears out, we kind of roll out from there. Garchomp. And then either Milotic or Togekiss. What is the call here, Jeans? I'm thinking Milotic. Let's actually get some burns. We have Skull. We have a decent amount of Pokemon here. Or decent uh, amount of things to do with Milotic. So I am really liking this. I am really liking this. Let's see if we can grab ourselves a win and go back to back for today's video. But you're not going to lie. Team's looking a lot uh, really scary. Charizard Nine Tails does get the lead. Good thing I didn't lead the Breloom. That was my that was my one fear is like going into maybe Breloom here. And then him just heat waving me down. So I could totally fake out. I mean, we do have the Focus Sash on our, uh, on our lovely little Weavile. And we do have Flash Fire on our Heatran, which is really, really good. So if we got a fake out turn one, I think we just fake out the Charizard. Even if Weavile will send a Sash, I think it's all good. And then we might just go for a Heat Wave of our own here. Even though it's not very effective, still should be able to do a decent amount of damage with our special attack. Boost it. And with that Drought, it's Stab as well. So I am liking it. I am liking it. I think Weavile does use, use up its Sash here. But hopefully we don't get burned. Hopefully we do not get the burn on us. That could be deadly. That could be deadly. Let's see how this one plays. Let's see how this one plays out. But this is actually like a really tough matchup for us all this fire and then the drought it's just like mm. it's like come on man it's like what you mean night tails is going to protect which is i'm cool with that i'm cool with that so we are faking out the lovely little charizard a little clap there and a heat wave is going to fly out here not a bad turn not a bad turn for us i think maybe another heat wave can take that thing out oh he dodges that what you mean what you mean so could do a hard swap here could totally do a hard swap which i think i am going to do i think i'm going to roll out in the milotic for the hard swap and then maybe just drop another heat wave maybe just go for that i do like that turn let's do that let's swap the weavile because i could see a double heat wave actually flying or they might be doubling down into my weavile or one pokemon might be coming from a weavile and then a heat wave coming in but he can't really use fire moves on me i have the i have the heat train out here flash fire is really really good so i'm liking this charizard's gonna overheat here that's fine hit up on my milotic who's going to be able to soak that up all day and this thing's special attack is going to drop. So I can definitely see a hard swap next turn. We could coil. And flash fire is going to pop. Ooh, does he not know we're flash fire? Heat wave is going to fly. Heat wave is going to fly. Get some big damage off. Give me the burn on Charizard. Actually, Charizard goes down solar power. Charizard drops down to solar power. And I'm trying to think if I should coil up this turn. Or just get after these Pokemon. Or should I just get after these Pokemon? I don't know. We still have Weavile at full health in that back end. So, so far, so good. So far, so, so good. Let's see what he does. Let's see this guy's play. He goes out into the chomp. Okay, so chomp's gonna fly through here. He might think we have like an ice move. So I might wanna coil or I kinda wanna hypnosis at the same time. 
I don't want to put this Garchomp to sleep. Let's put Garchomp to sleep, and I might just protect here. So I can see potentially a ground move coming in here, but we do have a Shuka Berry. We do indeed have a Shuka Berry. So I kind of just want to Heat Wave here. But you know what? I'll protect and save my Shuka Berry. I'll save my Shuka Berry, because Milotic should be able to eat up whatever this... uh. Okay, so he does protect. That's fine. So I'm cool with that. Milotic should be able to eat up this EQ. The so protect comes out here. We are hypnosising, so this could be a really good turn for us again. Let's see it. He's going to go for that EQ. Milotic should be able to eat up. Milotic should be able to eat up. And we just got to hope that this hypnosis lands. Because we already missed a heat wave. We already missed a heat wave. EQ comes out here. Milotic is able to eat. Brings us down to red. Land us hypnosis, please. Hypnosis pops. Beautiful, yo. What another great turn for us, yo. We are rolling strong in VGC doubles for BDSP. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Already made our first opponent quit. Leftovers is going to pop. Um, I could swap the Milotic. I could swap Milo. But you know what? I'm going to go for a recover here. I'm going to go for the recover on the HP. And I think we just drop a lovely little heat wave here. Or I could flash cannon. Oh, what's the play? Let's go for a heat wave. So I think Garchomp is going to be asleep for at least two turns, right? For at least two turns. It does sound good. So if I can get off this recovery, yeah, we will be rolling strong. We will be rolling strong. Garchomp is slumped. I'll send a heat wave. I'll get some HP back. Solar Beam is going to fly. And that is going to take out my Milo. Dang, that's why I wish we had Protect. That is why I wish we had Protect. But it's all good. I bring out Weavile next turn. I just Ice Punch in that thing. It's gone. It is gone. And then we still have... Uh, who do we have in the back end? Who else did we bring? Was it Togi? It might have been Togi. Actually, I don't know if it was. But this Heat Wave might be able to take that thing out now. After that Life Orb damage. Garchomp avoids the Heat Wave. What is going on here? What is going on here? Heat Wave does take out. We are going to bring out Weavile. Which Weavile should just be able to dump on the Garchomp. No problem. Unless it's Sash. But I really do not see it being Sash. Uh, we do have our own Garchomp, which is lovely, but Weavile is coming in here. This is another reason why I brought Weavile on team. Has the fake out control. Has the... Oh, Icy Wind. Ooh. We fake him out. What's the player? He could put me to sleep. He does outspeed. Unless Drought ends. Unless Drought ends, which it might. Or it might have one more turn. What's the player? I say we just Ice Punch Heat Wave. If he wants to put me to sleep, he puts me to sleep. We do have a Sash. Heat Wave should be able to take out the Venusaur, no problem. Ice Punch should be able to take out Garchomp, no problem. I just say we keep the pressure on. Just throw some attacks out here. He's going to go for the Sleep Powder. Kind of saw that coming. Kind of saw that coming. And I'm cool with that turn. I'm totally cool with that turn. Because Garchomp goes down this Ice Punch all day long. All day long he goes down this Ice Punch. Four times super effective. Get him on out my game. Get him out of here. And now it turns into a 3v1 situation. Where we verse the Venusaur with a super effective Weavile. With a Focus Sash so he can't one tap me. And a super effective lovely little Heat Trend. The Drought does end I think. But it doesn't say anything. Does it? I just saw, like, the weather kind of, like, effects disappear on the screen. It's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. But let's just drop a Heat Wave. Let's go into Ice Punch. I can definitely see him canceling up this battle. Let's not cancel the battle. Ice Punch flies through here. And Weavile T it off. Weavile T it off. And the Venusaur showing in Sash. But Heat Wave should be able to outspeed. Ooh, nope, not anymore. Energy Ball flies through. We eat. That's GG's. That is GG's. That is GG's because we outspeed him. Let's just go for another Ice Punch. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And we'll go for another heat wave here. Even though we are slumped. Even though we know we are slumped. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Let's see it. He honestly should have put my Weavile to sleep. That would have been the play. Knowing that his Venusaur is sashed, I would have thrown a Weavile to sleep. But hey, GG's 2-0. and Let's hop into our third and final battle for today's video. And try to showcase this Breedloom team yet again. Third and final battle coming at you guys. We are going up against the same opponent. He wanted a little bit of a rematch. So I was just like, well, let's get after it. Let's try to get ourselves another win. But I really want to show off the Breloom yet again. But hey, he's using a different team here. He's got Metagross, the Crobat, Blaziken, Milotic. Gotta watch out, competitive Milotic. But we have no Intimidate on this team. And then he has Umbreon and Arcanine. So I think a good lead is going to be Breloom here. I really don't see him leading that Arcanine. I see him potentially using a Tailwind user such as uh, Crobat. But I think we might go Weavile here. I think Weavile could be really, really good. Blaziken is definitely scary. But if I could set up maybe like a sub or something or just Spore up, we could be sitting in a really good position. So I'm going to go Weavile and Breedloom combo here. I think next Pokemon we definitely want to bring is maybe Heatran. I just think Heatran is super, super good. I just think Heatran is great. I also do like Garchomp. So we 100% going to be bringing Garchomp here. Garchomp rocks out. And then we need something to kind of counter up on that Milotic, which we do have Breedloom already. So I'm thinking either Togekiss or Heatran here. I think Milotic stays in the back end. I don't think we really need it this game. I mean, we could, considering it does have Competitive and it does have Intimidate Arcanine. But I don't know if he's going to bring it. I kind of want Togekiss here. I kind of just really like Togekiss. Let's do it. 
Let's do it. Let's hop into our third. Look to grab ourselves a 3-0 record with this Breloom team. But hopefully we can set up the Breloom yet again and get rolling with it. Even though we already did it in the first battle. And second battle, we use a totally different team. But dude, he does go into Arc for turn one. He does end up going into Arcanine for turn one. So that's a little tough for us. Uh, we do have Weavile out here turn one. Uh, how should I play this one? Sub up, Spore, Fake Out. I think I'm going to Fake Out and Spore. Fake Out the Arc. Fake Out the Arc and Spore the... Uh, Spore the Metagross? I think that is going to be play. Fake out the arc and spore onto the Metagross. We know it's clear body. Hopefully it's not holding a Lumberry. I really do not see it holding a Lumberry. Actually, I could. Metagross is prime Pokemon for Lumberry in this format. Because her weakness policy isn't here. It's not here. I would love to get out Garchomp. But I might actually get out Garchomp after this and save my breathing. Arcanine flinches. Spore is going to fly through here. We say night, night to the Metagross. So I could set up a sub here. I could honestly set up a sub. But I wonder what Pokemon he does want to go for. I could set up a sub. Toxic Orb is out here. And I th just think setting up the sub suit is going to be big for us. And I could just throw chop. Which I might just do. Might trigger our Sash. He might want to go for a Heat Wave here. If he is rolling with Heat Wave. But Breloom outspeeds the Arcanine. I believe it outspeeds the Arcanine. So we should be able to get off a sub before anything. Like, what? Wait, what? This thing just woke up no problem. This thing just woke up no problem. What you mean? What you mean? What? What you mean? This thing just woke up no problem. No problem. That is whack. I, I never seen something more whack than that. I never seen something more whack than that. Get on out my face. Get on out my face. I think we just drop an EQ here. I think we just drop an EQ and we double down into this Metagross slot. That thing just woke up turn one no problem. Throw Chop's gonna fly here. We should be able to pick up a double kill. We should be able to pick up a double kill here. I'm thinking with that Life Orb getting off some big damage here. We bring our Weavile down to the red. We pick up a huge double kill. I do not mind hitting my wee ball for that. But yo, that thing really woke up. We were sitting in a good spot. We were sitting in a great spot. Granted, I think that uh that what's called did outspeed me that Arcanine. So Breedlim should be dead anyway. Might have been a bad call on us for the speed factor. He might have a really fast Arcanine. But still, like come on, yo. That that thing really woke up that quick to get that block off. That is whack. Milotic is gonna fly out here and he has to show his last two Pokemon. So we still have Tokus in the back, which is really, really good. And I think we just start uh, getting after these Pokemon. They're very bulky. You guys are very bulky. I might... Ooh, I cannot go for an Ice Wind. I really wanted to go for an Ice Wind, but I cannot. I said we just double down into Umbreon. I'm going to double down to Umbreon. This might be my play here. Hmm. This thing does have Snarl, so I might want to hit it with this. I don't know. Let's go for an Ice Punch. Let's double down to Umbreon. Maybe Milotic protects. Let's see. Nope. I think Milotic setting up a coil here. Give me a freeze. Give me a freeze. And dude, these Pokemon are bulky. I should have set up a Sword Dance there. That should be my play, setting up a Sword Dance. But I do think like an Ice Beam comes out here and he gets off some big damage. But let's just see his play. Is he going to set up a coil? He is going to coil with the Milotic. He is going to end up coiling with that Milotic. Milotic's defense is going to boost. He's getting everything on the board. And then Foul Play is going to fly through here, which we should be able to eat, right? Yeah. Garchomp eats that up all day. Rough Skin's going to tee off a little bit of damage. And then I could see a Protect coming out here, but at the same time, it's just like, eh. Do we double down to Umbreon again? What do we get it for? I said we get it for Milo. I said we get it for Milo. I could see a Protect coming out from Umbreon. Thinking we're going to double down into it. So let's just see. Let's see. I know Umbreon is Rocket Protect. He does not. We should have doubled down to Umbreon. Third Chop's going to fire. We predicted the Protect, but nothing's going to happen there. Coil's going to be able to soak us up. And I think he's going to pick up a nice big old double kill here. Hypnosis comes out, and we dodge. That's a huge dodge. Moonlight's going to come out here. Yo, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. That's a big dodge for us. That's a big dodge for us. Kind of makes up for that one turn sleep. Like, get on out my face. Get on out my face with that one. Milotic is going to have leftovers. I do not know if it's Rock and Protect. It might not. So we might want to just double down into it again. We might want to double down into this Pokemon again. Which I think is the play. Let's double down to Milotic. See if we can pick up the KO. 
Let's see if we can pick up the KO onto the Milo. Because it might be like my Milo, where it's rocking uh, two, what's it called? Or no protect. It's going to be kind of close. Dragon Call, take it out, please. Dragon Call, do him dirty. Get him out of here. Yes, sir. Yo, big KO onto the Milo thing. And third and final battle is looking in our favor. He has Garchomp here, or he's probably going to take out Garchomp here, right? Yep, with the foul play. And we can bring out Tokus all day. We can bring out Tokus. Roughskin is going to tee off a little bit. And now we're just going to have to just start slowly chipping away onto this beefy Pokemon right here. Onto this beefy Pokemon. Tokus can come out here as our final Mon. And I'm just going to start Ice Punch with Weavile. Looking to get some freezes. Looking to do them dirty. And just Air Slash and looking to flinch. Flinch and freeze could be our play, but... Now let's go Gleam. Gleam's super effective. Might as well roll out with it. Let's do it. Might cancel the battle. Let's see what happens here. Nope. Ice Punch flying through here. Give me the freeze. Give me the freeze, baby. No freeze. Gleam's going to fly through here. Chipping away some more damage. And that's GG's. That is GG's. 3-0 with this amazing Breloom team. You guys love to see it. What a set of battles with this amazing Breloon team. I absolutely loved everything about it. And more importantly, we got to show off every single Pokemon to its fullest potential on this team off in different battles. We got to show off the Breloom in battle number one. The Garchomp, we brought him in in most battles. He just rips up and he's just a great all-around Pokemon. Milo takes a beefy Pokemon, got to show him off as well. Heatran, absolutely amazing, got to show off that Pokemon as well. Super, super strong, hits like a truck, just great all around. And then the Tokus and Weavile can just be brought in in any situation. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive. Every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.